Hi, my name is Akanksha Upadhyay and I am your English instructor. In today's lesson, we will be learning about expressing congratulations, which is in the 13th unit of our English book. So let's start. Expressing congratulations. In English, we congratulate someone when he achieves something special or unusual. The word congratulation is often shortened uh, to congrats in writing. However, this is not a very formal way of speaking. Now we'll see some uh, examples on how we congratulate people. So when someone have done a very well project or uh, has taught a very a good class, an effective class, or given a good speech, or generally done something very well, you can say, good job on the project, or good job on the report, congratulations. Or you can say to a teacher, this is a great class. Well done. You can say, excellent speech. Now here we'll see some examples on a specific event uh, when we congratulate people. So first, if someone's graduating, graduation, we can say, congratulations on your graduation. Best of luck for the future achievements. On someone's promotion, we can say congratulations, good luck on new position. If someone's getting married, the wedding we can congratulate them by saying, Congratulations. I wish you every happiness. Congratulations can also be offered to someone. Like you, uh, so, congratulating. Congratulations can also be offered. For example, the principal of the school offered congratulations to all her students. The word congratulations can also be used reflexively. For example, go ahead and Congratulate yourself. You deserve it. Congratulations can also be used by itself. So use of congratulation by itself. Here's an example. Everyone shouted congratulations as Sarita, comma, the winner of Kabaddi competition descended the staircase. Now we will go through some of the basic phrases that we will uh, use to express our thank you after somebody congratulates us. Congratulates. So we can say simply, thank you. Or you can say many thanks. Also, you can say that it wouldn't be possible without you. Now, we will go through some of the phrases that we will use while congratulating. I'll list them up for you. So the first one, you can simply say, congratulations. Another, congratulations on your success. You can also say, 
Let me congratulate you on your new job. Another structure is let me say congratulations on being selected for the tournament. Also, we can say I'd like to say congratulations. You did a marvelous job. Also, we can say that's a great news. Congratulations. Now we have an example in the book. A message of congratulation is sent to a person who receives recognition for any achievement or passes a birthday, plans an interesting vacation, gets promoted, joins a new job, recovers from illness, etc. It is also sent to a company, institution, etc. So we'll write something about when do we express congratulations. When to congratulate. We can congratulate someone when somebody receives an achievement like he um, completes his school, his gra he graduates with a very good marks or he gets promoted even if the person passes a birthday or is getting married or it's an anniversary also when he joins a new job or he recovers from illness or also when an institution or a company or a school is getting recognized by something by an award um, company, institution, or school, colleges gets an award or brings good results in exam. When the students bring very uh, good result in exam, maybe a school can get a congratulations letter. We can also send a message of congratulations and we'll see a pattern for it. So in the top, you're just writing congratulations or heartly congratulations or many, many congratulations. And then you write the person's name and then you simply praise him by some um, phrases like you did an awesome job or what a remarkable accomplishment. You're just giving a message and then you write congratulations again. But this time you need to state why. Why are you congratulating him? So you can say congratulations on receiving the award. Suppose we're giving an award. Congratulations on receiving an award. For now, we will be using this space to write down what kind of award, what is the achievement. So here, you're just stating the achievement. Congratulations on what did he achieve. And you just write what is the achievement. Then again, you praise the person in the next following paragraph, like you just write down uh, that you really, you really had done a great job or uh, no one is more deserving than you or you can simply, you just make a paragraph praising the person who has received the letter of congratulations. So praise the person for what he has done. And finally, you want to leave, you want the person to know who you are. So leave your name. 
it's your name, maybe the institution that is sending that you work in which you work, or if this is not for a formal purpose, maybe you can just write your name and your relation, anything. We'll see an example for this. So you're just writing. Congratulations. And you write the name of the person. So maybe it is Akanksha. Upadhyay and just give a message with what and accomplishment. You're just giving the person a message like what an accomplishment you have made. You are talking about why are you sending this uh, congratulation message then you go on with uh, writing why are you congratulating the person so say congratulations again but this time you're stating don't forget to state why you write this so congratulations on the now what did I receive what did Akanksha receive is annual so make it a bold um, as possible because this is going to catch the reader's attention annual best swimmer award for 2016 then you begin with praising the winner no one is more deserving then you to get this award. I am proud of you. Your hard work and diligence certainly paid off. I'm sure to hear more success stories in the future from you. So you can simply write, keep it up, keep it up. And then you are done with your um, message of congratulations, but don't forget to mention who you are. So you are writing a name, Sushma Sharma, from Deer Walk Learning Center, Kathmandu. So this is the congratulation message that you would want to have. Now let's revisit to what we have learned today. We now know what congratulation is, what it actually means. It is used to express one's good wishes in the context of happy event. So let's write it down again. Uh, let's not forget the unusual or special thing here is always a happy moment, a happy event. So congrats is a shorthand word used for congratulations this is generally not found not heard while speaking but it's usually written congrats so here are some of the examples good job on the project this is a great class well done or excellent speech so let's add some congratulation on your new baby so you're basically very happy that your friend has a baby now. Or you can also say, congratulations on winning the lottery. So here are again some of the examples where you can congratulate people. So you can congratulate when someone's graduating or you can congratulate when someone's getting a promotion or is getting married. 
So you can just say congratulations and maybe leave a short message. So best of luck for the future achievements or good luck on your new position or I wish you a very I wish you every happiness. This is uh, your wish and your message to the person. Congratulations can also be offered by someone. It can be used to offer congratulations to someone. So the principal of the school offered congratulations to all her students. So you did not just like uh, say congratulations directly, but you can also use it in indirect speech. The principal of the school offered congratulations to all her students. Congratulations can also be used reflexively. So you can say, go ahead and congratulate yourself. You deserve it. Congratulations are also made by itself. It can be used by itself. Everyone shouted congratulations as Sarita, the winner of Kabaddi competition, descended the staircase. So Sarita won a competition and when she returned back to school, when she was uh, in the staircase, everyone shouted, congratulations. So these are some of the phrases, a very few phrases to respond while people congratulate. So now these are some of the phrases that can be used to congratulate people. And then we have some of the um, events when we can congratulate people. So we can congratulate people if they achieve something or if they get promoted, if it's a birthday or anniversary or wedding or baby shower. We can also congratulate when somebody joins a new job, uh, when someone recovers from illness. And then we can congratulate a company, institution, school as such, uh, if they achieve something. And this is a format which is not very good to see. Uh, however, the content matters and I think it will be helpful. So you can use this content, you can use this pattern to send a message of congratulations to someone. And we also saw an example on how to write a message of congratulations. So you're, I'm leaving you with some homework. Congratulate your friend on winning the 200 meter race in the sports day. Um, this is all for today's class. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please feel free to write to us at learning at Thanks for watching.